I want to show you guys something. This is really cool. The Action Bible. When I was a little kid, I used to read a lot of comic books. And uh, I think when I was uh, about 13 or 14, I also was um, interested in the Bible. But to me, it just wasn't as interesting as comic books. So for you guys out there with kids who are 13, 14 years old, maybe even 10 years old, Action Bible. Right, baby? Mm-hmm. You like it? It's very cool, man. Very cool, man. Very cool, man. I'll talk about it on another video. But if you guys like the... If you guys want one of these, there's a link in the description. I bought two. Actually, I bought three. Yeah, I did buy three. I bought three because I like it so much. I like the pictures, but we'll talk about it on another video. There's a link in the description if you guys want to buy one or six. to read some mean comments today some mean comments here we go let's do it let's do some mean comments here's one from James Hames um, mean comments well it's not really mean. well it is kind of mean okay here's I think this was when I was telling everybody to pray for someone it's a it's, it was a, on a live video here's what it says here's what he says don't pray for anyone you insane piece of s F you and your religion. Well, first of all, religion and truth, two different things. Back in the day, pagans used to think, um, and pagans still do think, and some people, even Christians, still think that you have to work in order for the gods or God to be pleased by you. The truth of the matter is you don't have to work in order for God to love you. God already loves you. And he displayed it by sending his son to the cross. And that act of love should spark something in us to want to obey him. That's how it works. That's the, the, the differences between religion and truth. Religion, you have to do something in order to be saved, in order to be loved. The truth of the matter is, the truth is... God did something for you in order to spark in you that love so that you can reciprocate that love by obeying His commandments. That's the difference. So I'm sorry, James Hames, that you don't see it that way. And we will pray for you. You say, don't pray for anybody. Well, we will pray for you. What is that? Okay. So here's my prayer request for everybody who sees this video and this vlog. Pray for James Hames. He's obviously an atheist. He obviously hates God and uh, Christianity. Um, so pray that God will inspire him and uh, that God will impress upon him to research the truth and to reach out to God. That's my prayer request to you guys. Okay, enough. As you guys can tell, it's time to do the Flintstone Shuffle again. We're going to go pick up some people. We're going to drop them off. Hopefully, we can evangelize. And I'm going to try and see what I can do if I can... Because I want to start recording these Uber and Lyft rides. And I kind of want to show the interaction between, you know, me and some of the passengers when, when I do try to evangelize. And um, show it to you guys to see what kind of advice you guys can give me when it comes to... Um, meeting strangers and uh, evangelizing to them because I know there's a lot more a lot more people out there that have more experience than than me when it comes to evangelizing to strangers um, I also had an idea because I have Wi-Fi on my on my uh, uh, in my car um, to have a sticker that tells the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password somewhere in the back seat and the password is going to change every week to a different uh, 
verse, Bible verse, which is really a really, really cool idea so that they can get curious and actually look at what that Bible verse says, right? Right? That's a really, really, really good idea. I think here's what I'm gonna do for every vlog. Every time I start my vlogs, I'm going to answer some of you guys' comments, your Bible questions, and even like mean comments. I might just address them as, as well in the beginning of my vlogs. So, with that said, it's gym time right about now. Just got done at the gym. I'm going to my sister's house now. She's having a party and I'm pretty sure there's going to be drinking there. So I'm not going to be there for too long because there is going to be drinking there and I don't drink because I'm a Christian. So see you guys in a little bit. So I had to get out of that party, it was getting too wild for me. So I took my daughter and I left. Uh, we left and uh, came back here. It was too many, too much noise, too much drinking. But anyway, what did we learn today? Today we started off uh, by answering someone's mean comment. We made the distinction between religion and truth. Religion is when you do something in order for God to love you. And the truth is that God loves you and he did something in order for you to be saved. And as a result, it will spark something in you to love God and obey his commandments. So it's not the other way around where you have to do something, you have to keep the commandments in order to be saved. That's religion. The truth is God did something for you to save you. And in result, if you appreciate what he did for you, you're gonna keep the commandments. So there's a difference. Tomorrow we're going to tackle someone else's question or comment or meme comment. So make sure you guys comment on these vlogs and videos. And we will pick one of the questions in the comments and we will answer it. So peace out. Praise God always. We'll see you tomorrow.